Well, you probably won't be able to hear me much, but just one short, quick video. We are cleaning out bins. It's repetitive. It's boring to watch. And, uh, but I'm still alive, so I'm going to let you guys know that. That bin, the door's open, obviously. We have the sleep in there. Maybe I'll do a short, short video on that. Just so uh, people are new and haven't seen that sleep before. And uh, we're loading trucks over here. Out of this one, does not have the uh, sleep in yet. I don't have to be in there. There's a fan running just to push some air through as you're unloading. It's kind of handy. Um, but yeah, just loading corn. That's it. Going to get the combine out today as well. in here you got to keep the sweep scooted up sometimes it starts banging when it gets on the floor you got to wear a mask and uh, it's just too dusty in here you can't be having that stuff in your lungs so don't be trying to be a tough guy if you're in these bins I know a lot of guys old farmers that have got lung diseases because of all this dust so wear a mask well, here we are the 45,000 bushel bin and uh, what we got to do is when you get avalanches like that you kind of got to hold it back just a second to let it kind of keep up otherwise you can bury the sweep and the motor will you just put too much strain on it but uh, you can see we're getting down there you know it doesn't look like much because you know we're all the way around but generally when we get down to where we need to get the sweep in Sometimes by the time we can get the sleep in, that's six or eight, six to eight truck loads. So there's a lot of corn in here. Probably two to three loads left just right here. And uh, I'm out there and I'm actually loading the grain cart right now. So what I'm doing is loading this stuff with the grain cart. I'm loading the other bin straight into the truck because this takes forever to load. And then uh, at the end here, you know, I, I just fill a truck with the cart or I top off the truck while the other auger's going and bam, full truck. So it's boring, you guys. We got a lot of these bins. Well, we got two of these big ones and a bunch of smaller ones for beans and some corn. But this one and then the other one that's identical to this is the only other bin we have to clean out. So we only have one more bin and uh, we're getting ready to get up so we have room for all the harvest. <coughs> Excuse me. simple as that but once it starts chewing off corn you'll notice like certain areas break off and come down so you just kind of got to let it do its thing and then kind of falling behind filming here but you just double that little bit in. I've seen the Keith Kister brothers they run it around a second time. Whoop. They run it around a second time but that's not worth it for our, this bin because this, this sweep is running level right now where he was saying they do that because they have it like this. Then they take that riser out and they make it level. So you can imagine with a pile of corn, that's probably uh, all of 10 to 12 feet tall up there on the wall. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Just like that. So it does take some time, and uh, this little bit of shoveling takes like 30 seconds. So it gives me something to do. Yeah, you get a little avalanche like that, and it's a five-horse motor. They used to run it with a three and a half, but it's a big sweep, guys, big sweep. I mean, I'm sure this is all of, I can't remember if it's 22 and a half or 20 feet. And you're, you're pulling in a lot of corn, so maybe you can put a little bigger motor in, but the bigger the motor, the heavier it is to carry in. And you can about imagine, I did do a video on this last year of how hard it is to carry this thing in. It ain't easy. Saturday now but uh, I never mentioned it in the other video but uh, just going down the driveway of the bin site here um, had we if you run the fans uh, when they're on or when you're getting empty like say when you're sweeping um, what I've always been told is you do run the risk of uh, blowing that floor up 
off the, the blocks like some of the older floors are sitting on uh, cinder blocks and then some of them actually have like this s stand they're sitting on that are actually hooked to the floor so maybe it's not as much of a risk with those but uh um, you do kind of run the risk of damaging your floor, so we just run it until we get down to that sweep point. And when we're in that sweep point, cut the fan off and uh, you just sweep it out from there. Right or wrong, that's how we do it, but uh, I thought I'd explain it in case somebody asks. So um, I'm out of here going to work tonight, and uh, so I'm going to get on the road here, but I thought I'd mention that. So with that, take care, be safe, and uh, check you later.